And welcome everybody on YouTube. We got something a little different here. We have Thousand Year Storm. This is going to be my first time that I have ever played this card, Thousand Year Storm. Haven't played it in um, limited, constructed, anything. This is going to be a new experience for myself. Um, now, one thing I will say about this card is the art on this card is awesome. Absolutely love it. So that's probably my most the thing I'm most excited about for this. Okay, I've actually never seen the animation either. So, yeah, that's going to be interesting. So I guess the animation is going to be pretty cool. So what we have going on here is uh, we're just trying to play lots of spells with Thousand Year Storm in play and eventually uh, copy lightning strikes and shocks or explosion and kill the opponent with those. So that's that's our goal. On our sideboard, we got Negate, Niv-Mizzet, Firemind's Research for control decks. Um, Immortal Sun and Star of Extinction for uh, Golgari. Immortal Sun's also good against Teferi based control decks. And then we got Lava Coil and Fiery Cannonade for aggro. So that's what we got. Um, so let's go ahead and get to the games. But before that, uh, we did just get to our 15th sub just a little bit ago. So if we're getting to 15 subs, voted on getting a, a pack, a core set 2019. So you can see. What rare or mythic we're going to open. You can try to guess this if you're watching the YouTube video. Guess what we're going to get. But I'm going to go ahead and open it up right now. And let's see what we got. Chaos Wand. Man, that'd be a cool card to have in our deck. Uh, I guess against our deck. Somebody wants to play that against us. And that can uh, certainly promote chaos. Aptly name. All right, time for storm. So Volpine says I should try Ali Al Ali Entrazi's Omniscience uh, Thousand Year Storm deck. I haven't, yeah, I've not seen that at all. Um, I bet that's, I bet that's really sweet. Um, what about Ionize, Mur Murmuring Mystic, and Legion War Boss? They're all just cards that are not really for our deck. Yeah, go ahead, Dizdo. Go ahead. All right, so we got some treasure maps. So treasure maps are building up our mana very quickly, which is exactly what we want because whenever we do start playing Thousand Year Storm and comboing off, we're going to need lots and lots of mana. So the treasures that treasure map makes helps us get there. Oh, whoa, that was a, that was a weird link. Um. Yeah. Hey, MTG Tolab, doing good today. We have played some really long and kind of difficult matches. Um, because we have been live for almost six and a half hours now, and we're just uh, basically six and a half hours, and we're just getting to the third deck. Which is pretty crazy. Alright, we'll just end turn. Music is super loud today. Over on over on my side it's the same volume it always has been. I mean this this could just be a loud song. Maybe. All right, Pirate, Pirate's Pillage is good. Get to draw a couple cards. I think I'm just discarding one of these treasure maps. I don't think we're necessarily going to be able to have time to have like three treasure maps here. Okay, there's Thousand Year Storm. So next turn... We play land, scry with treasure map. The following turn, we scry with treasure map and play Thousand Year Storm. And then the following turn after that, then we can potentially win. So, that's going to take a lot. We need our opponent to not have a very good frenzy. 
so I do I do need another land, I think, but I'm gonna put this to the bottom because I don't really want a second land, and we get we're getting a couple draw steps here. Oh, I should I could just play the other treasure map there. We're not going to survive another turn now. So it's... So it's a Mardu creature when it ETBs plays three counters on three other creatures. It gets plus one, plus one. It gets a one, one counter for each other counter. So it's... I mean, it'd make a whole lot more sense design-wise just to say it's a 3-mana three 3-3 three, three. that ETBs and you put a 1-1 count on up to 3 other creatures. That would make a lot more sense and be a lot less confusing design-wise. We have three extra mana to go along with this Thousand Year Storm. I don't think that's going to get us there. Yeah, it's not show them Thousand Year Storm. So we have another new card. Two mana, two, one. It can't actually be called Tom Martell's Scarf. It's got to be like, like they can't actually be the card, right? When it, but what does it actually say? It does when ETBs look at the top four cards of your library, reveal a creature or land card, put it on the top of your library. I mean, that may be an actual card, but there's no way that that's the name of the card. Hey, Alex Crow, thank you. Anticipate over radical idea. I like that. I like that option as well. Yeah, I actually like anticipate quite a bit. So uh, normally I play Niv Mizzet here. I like Niv Mizzet against them. Yeah, I think against aggro, I gotta just play some Niv Mizzets to end the game like that. We're gonna go down to two storm. Just gotta cut other cards. I don't really know what to cut. Just cutting some mission briefings. I have no time remaining. things Hawkeye does to get my attention he'll he'll bite he'll like bite me um like some some mornings and if he doesn't think I'm I'm up early enough to uh to feed him he'll bite me so fanatical firebrand is a goblin pirate this is dealing damage to non-pirates so we're not gonna be able to kill fanatical firebrand with um, fiery cannonade, so we are just gonna go ahead and shock this. I 
Yeah, I keep up some with the lore of MTG. I do like lore stuff, but I don't keep up a ton with it, but I keep up some with it. Alright, I'm not thinking they're... Like, I'm thinking... Oh, man, they have Steam Steamkin? Uh, I should have just taken the two. Regret not just taking the two, then. Dang it. Should have just taken the two. I was thinking it was going to be like a, a Chain Whirler. Alright, so we play Niv Mizzet. We don't get to play Lightning Strike as well. That's good. So that means, you know, we just have a backup Niv Mizzet if they have two burn spells to kill this one. We just turn into Niv Mizzet Control, post sideboard. Yeah, I could have used my two my two treasures to cast the lightning strike there, but then I'm not cast then I'm not gonna be able to cast Niv Mizzet, so I don't think it's worth it. Yeah, Fire with Fire is, is perfectly fine, because Fire with Fire will still draw us a card and kill the their Viashino Pyromancer. We're perfectly fine facing a fight with fire. I'm definitely, definitely going to block. I want to take lots of damage. Our <clears throat> guy's sitting like in front of like this area down here of the screen. He's sitting, so I can't really see like where it says opponent's turn, all this kind of stuff. I can't, I can't actually see over there. Well, they, they should wait till. Shouldn't they wait till after damage there? So they can hit, hit me for two. That's a good card. I'm gonna go ahead and shock the lava runner. Deal one to them. And attack them. And play Search for Escanta. Alright, we got this game. I mean, I guess we don't technically necessarily have it for sure. Experimental Frenzy is pretty nuts. Deals two to me, and they take one. All right, we're going to counter the lightning strike. And I think we can see if we can have lethal. Yeah, we're going to be able to have lethal the next turn. Yeah, that Escanta didn't even do anything. Um, I could probably just cut Escanta here. No, maybe I keep it. Hmm. Yeah, Niv Mizzet is completely busted. Super busted. Um, Escanta won the game. <laughs>
Anything we need to change? I mean, I don't think I sideboard perfectly the first time. I don't necessarily love as Canton treasure map. But they're fine. <laughs> All right, we'll keep this. Kind of want mission briefing. Oh well. <laughs> Nifter cost five. Yeah, mission briefing is not terrible. Yeah, being able to buy back removal spells. Your butt down. Yeah, your butt's in the way. Do y'all do y'all hear a lot of noise whenever Hawkeye bumps his head against the uh, uh, mic like that? No, you don't? Okay. I kind of want to cast Discovery here, but then we're taking two damage. No, I think I just got a Shock or Lightning Strike. Alright, I'm going to take the two. I, had lightning, I kept Lightning Strike up for... For chain whirler, if that chain whirler, I wanted to be able to lightning strike it there. Hopefully, the two damage doesn't kill me that I took there. Certainly want to negate. Um, yeah, I'll probably want to opt also. And I'll take a turn off of negating. Nah. We'll keep negate and lightning strike up. I think I'm going to need the opt for after I, like, if I untap with Thousand Year Storm, I think just like the one mana spell is going to be really beneficial. Yeah, we have Thousand Year Storm. Yeah, I played Elf Ball yesterday. Uh, we went 4-2. It went pretty well. You can, of course, find the VOD on the YouTubes. Um, you know, youtube.com slash C slash Todd Stevens MTG. But yeah, no, it went, it went real well. Um. Yeah, let's keep both of these. So we're going to need our opponent to not kill us. It'd be very nice. Dispersal on Frenzy. Well, Dispersal costs black mana, which I do not have. I don't have black mana. Hmm. Is 
Is our opponent... Hopefully our opponent can't kill us next turn. I think I'm just going to tap out for Thousand Year Storm here. And then hope to just not die. And then if we don't die, we can very potentially win. Our opponent needs five, five damage. They get like two scries. It's pretty unlikely that we don't... Yeah, I mean... That's our deck. It's very... That is a cool animation. That's a cool animation. It's very likely we die, but I mean, this is our best chance of winning. Y'all have to believe. Y'all are so negative saying that we're going to die. We may not die. See, look at that. That's not killing us. That's good. Oh, that's killing us. Okay. They only got one mana. Oh, no. They got a lot of mana. Dang it. Scry top. No, don't scry top. Oh, man. I really think that we could we could win if we, if we were able to untap. Ugh. So that's what I set this up for. I took two damage very early in the game to make sure I had a lightning, like I didn't use my lightning strike to make sure I had a lightning strike for Goblin Chain Whirler. They did not have that. That two damage killed us. They could have had another burn spell thereafter. They had two mana, two more mana. Could have had another burn spell. Yeah, yeah, I can't imagine that red deck like that is one of our good matchups. Can't imagine that's a good matchup. Okay. Now just mono white aggro? Ugh. Why do I have to play the hyper aggro decks? Oh. Just the, the card I just can't beat. That's cool. Can't beat a Danto Vanguard ever. Yeah, Mono White is the hard counter. So what can we even get? Like, I, I can't survive this Adanto Vanguard attacking me for six turns. Even if they have nothing else. over there. At least we're looking like a Drake deck. Hmm. <laughs> Thanks. It's hot, it's hot outside today. Here's some bits to go 5-1. Okay, we got five bits. See if we can get five wins. It'll be tough. We're gonna try. Um, what do we have over here, Hawkeye? I can't even see because you're in the way. Guess I'm just gonna cast Radical Idea and Shock. And then next turn. Pirate's Pillage, and then after that, Thousand Year Storm. Just gonna shock this token.
to not let them flip Legion's Landing. Sailor of Means could be okay in the sideboard. Yeah, Sailor of Means sideboard, like, it's not a card I'd want in the main deck. But sideboard, it's actually not a bad card. Discard the Steam Vents that cost us life. Yeah, blocks well. Okay. Can we win this? Can we win this? Okay, can we win? So we have... No, our, our opponent has six and then six. Dang it. So we can't win this. We have to draw shock. We have to have our opponent have absolutely nothing and we draw shock. Yeah, we have to have our opponent not have anything and we draw shock. Should just do it. This is me panicking. Ugh. Okay, Coil, Cannonade, Niv, Star of Extinction? Yeah, radical idea, doesn't seem very playable. What if we... Uh, what if we do... Um, like, what if we do Star of Extinction? So that's what that's the storm deck there with Deafening Clarion and Revitalize. Yeah, I saw you, Rickard Eye. I saw you. Um... Good Star of Extinction. I don't hate that. Nah, I hate it. I'm off it. Let's go. Yeah, we need our opponent to mulligan a whole lot. And also not have a Danto Vanguard. Our opponent not having a Danto Vanguard makes it a little easier. Why is there no Ral in the deck? Um... I guess it's just not what we want, I guess. Yeah, please no Adanto. <laughs> right? Please, friend. 
No, no Adanto. Can't possibly beat Adanto Vanguard. We can maybe beat other things. Do I just concede? Or... Dream Eater, Controller, or Tempo Deck? Um, probably somewhere in between there. I guess, like a... Tempo deck playing a six drop and a tempo deck's kind of rough. Just want a mission briefing opt. That doesn't seem like a good use of a mission briefing. So we're gonna be going. Not in a matchup like this, shocking their Adanto to force a payment. Not a matchup where you're not pressuring their life total. You can do that if you're attacking with other creatures and stuff, and you're going to be pressuring their life total, but not not in something like this where we're not. Nice. You, your birthday's today, and you turn 22. That is very fitting. Should I briefing the shock and kill this thing? <clears throat> I don't hate that. I honestly don't hate that. Definitely not throwing anything at Adanto Vanguard. We're going to have them kill me in seven turns with Adanto Vanguard. After the third pay, they get rid of it, or I could just got rid of three other creatures and just take three damage a turn. I mean, we're at 20 life. Three damage a turn takes seven turns. All right, so we're going to slam Thousand Year Storm next turn. And then hope we do stuff after that. <laughs> Boros, Boros Bugler was titled, titled Boros Burgers. <laughs> yeah. Ugh. Ugh. That's a problem. So now we're taking uh, 11 next turn. So we're going to go down to 14 here. We're going to take 11. So if they have Benelish Marshal, we're dead. Yeah, if they have Benelish Marshal to pump their creatures, or... Benelish Marshal or um, Heroic Reinforcements. Okay, you're just sitting right in front of the screen. Here, come over here. Come here. Thank you. All right. We're playing to win the game, not to not lose the game. We're going to have to win the game next turn. So if we... If we discovery... And then two lightning strikes, and then three lightning strikes? No, that doesn't kill them yet. We're taking 11 right now. That's 4, 8, 11. If they have reinforcements or a Benelish Marshal, we're dead. If they don't, we can potentially win. So what do we need to win here with this discovery? We have to discovery for a pirate's pillage or something? I'm not sure. Like what do we I guess 
Is that what we need? Like, we need the Pirate's Pillage for the extra mana? Discovery has to get Pillage. Or if we get, if we get an opt, seriously? Come on, opponent. We'd have to have the extra mana for it. We need like a land plus an opt. If we had a one mana spell, we need a, a land plus a one mana spell between our draw step and the discovery. Like why does our opponent have to be mean? River's Rebuke would be really nice. There's the land. So let's just check to see if we would have discovered into a one mana spell. Yeah. So we would have been all discovery into one mana spell. And then opt. And then lightning strike, lightning strike. We would have killed them. If they didn't have Conclave Tribunal, we would have killed them. Would have had him. So close. Uh, yeah, it is. It is harder to play meme decks in best of three for sure. It is certainly harder. We got we got one win on the back of Niv Mizzet. Um, yeah, that was my first time ever playing Thousand Year Storm, and did not go too well. We played two really tough matchups, you know, like that's that's just two really tough matchups where we were hoping to dodge are those aggro decks. Um, and uh, we we got there. We got those uh, got those tough matchups. That's, that's where we got. So. So you think anticipate might help better? I could definitely see that radical idea doesn't seem very good, but. Yeah, if, if you splash white, you get to play Revitalize and Deafening Clarion. I mean, if you're splashing white, don't you just play Teferi also, so you just get more, more cards? Like, don't you just play Jeskai? Can, like, is it best just to play like Jeskai Control and then also just have Thousand Year Storm for like your other win con besides Teferi? That like your your opponent doesn't expect. That just makes your all your stuff really good. Yeah, pretty much you just play that. Cause it's kinda hard that, you know, like we don't have the best interaction with red here. It's hard to really rely on only Thousand Year Storm. Chart a course over Radical Idea, too. That's just a lot better idea, also. Yeah, Radical Idea is just not good. Chart a course or Revitalize if you're playing white. The way to go there. Yeah, but it is rough against aggro. Yep, rough against aggro, and that's what we faced there. We faced a couple aggro decks. So that was pretty rough. You play Ral in your main deck? It's pretty crazy... I don't know if it's pretty crazy, but it's it's interesting. Sorry, that's a better word. It's pretty interesting how many people, you know, how many of y'all in, in chat play Storm, Thousand Year Storm, because I've never even played against the deck before. Of course, I always do the best two out, I always do best two out of threes. Maybe it's not played as much there, but I've never, I've never ever played against Thousand Year Storm before, even. Never played with or against. And, um, yeah. So a thousand year is pretty bad, but you get to play Storm and Standard. Yeah. See, I like having Storm and Standard like that. And I like that it's not just I like I like I like this. I like this that there is Storm and Standard and you can play it. And sure it's maybe not necessarily the best, but it's really not that bad. Like we saw that last game. I had a a, a win on turn six with having two removal spells. Like I I played removal spells twice. So I interacted with the opponent, and I was going to have a turn six kill. And standard, like, standard decks aren't super fast, so that's not so bad. Yeah. 
So the Omnibus Storm deck that Ali and Trazi has is really fun. Recommend recommend that. Okay. All right, so if you were watching this over on YouTube, we didn't do so well because we played against some aggro decks, but there are certain, certainly some problems, like I was saying. Like, we had a couple of matches there, even the Game 3 against Mono Red and that Game 2 against Mono White, where we got Thousand Year Storm down a turn early thanks to Pirate's Pillage, and if we would have untapped, we would have killed our opponent. But just against those aggro decks, they were able to kill us in time. But thanks for watching on YouTube. If you're watching there, I'm going to go ahead and end the recording here. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, uh, wherever that is on your screen. I guess it may not be down below. Maybe it's up above. Maybe it's over there. Who knows? Wherever that subscribe button is, hit that. And hope you check out one of the other videos as well. And thanks for watching.